Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, we get an opportunity to take an in-depth look at the 2023 Cadillac Escalade V. As with all of my reviews, I'm going to cover all of the ins and outs and take this thing on a thorough drive. I'll also get plenty of sound clips because this supercharged 6.2 liter V8 sounds absolutely incredible. We've got a lot of stuff to cover, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up and let her run. The fifth generation Cadillac Escalade and its long wheelbase variant, the ESV, are currently in their third year of production. Launched for the 2021 model year, they benefited from a major top to bottom overhaul in order to hone in on the limitations of their predecessors. They also made great strides in technology, safety, and capability. At the core of these SUVs is an all-new chassis architecture that features a longer wheelbase and an all-new independent rear suspension. These two changes alone created a serious generational gap between the new models and their predecessors. For 2023, aside from some new color options, there are no significant changes to the core lineup. The Escalade is now offered with three different engines including a naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8, a 3 liter turbo diesel inline 6 cylinder, and with the Escalade V, a supercharged 6.2 liter V8. Available in both standard and long wheelbase versions, the V series is rated at 682 horsepower and 653 pound-feet of torque, making it the most powerful full-size SUV available today. Standard performance features include a specially calibrated 10-speed automatic transmission, a full-time active all-wheel drive system, and exclusive suspension hardware and software calibrations. From the outside, the general shape is familiar, but the styling is far more intricate. You really have to see it in person to truly appreciate all of the new Escalade's details, especially at night. As mentioned in previous reviews, the new Escalade rides on a 4.9 inch longer wheelbase. Overall length grows by 6.7 inches. Third row legroom increases by 40%, while cargo volume behind the third row increases by 68%. Maximum cargo volume with all of the seats folded flat increases by 30%. These are significant changes, especially for those who have had experience with the prior generation. The Escalade is more usable, more comfortable, and more flexible in both daily use and long distance travel. Base pricing for a standard wheelbase 2023 Escalade, including destination, ranges between $79,440 for a two-wheel drive luxury and $112,515 for a four-wheel drive Sport Platinum. The V-Series is in a league of its own with a starting price of $150,990. Like I said, a unique all-wheel drive system is standard on the V-Series. Four-wheel drive is optional on the rest of the lineup. On the exterior, unique front and rear fascias sets the V-Series apart, along with Cadillac's signature sport mesh grille. The rear fascia incorporates openings for quad exhaust outlets that incorporate electronic bypass valves so you can control the level of sound. Uniquely styled 22-inch wheels are also part of the V-Series content. They help showcase the performance brake system, which includes exclusive Brembo front brakes with edge red calipers. Of course, LED headlamps and tail lamps are standard. 
The signature vertical lighting elements introduced on the previous generation Escalade continue, but with a new interpretation that adds a sleek horizontal headlamp to reinforce a broad, confident stance. The tall vertical rear light adds deep three-dimensional layers and is finished with detailed etching. The V-Series is available in five exterior colors. This example is finished in Radiant Red Tint Coat, which is a $1,225 option. While it's not an exclusive color to the V-Series, it looks most appropriate. The interior appointments of the V-Series build on the Escalade's platinum trim interior. Pretty much all of the Escalade's available content is included as standard equipment on the V-Series. The only other options of significance include Cadillac's semi-autonomous supercruise system and a center console refrigerator with freezer. Of course, I'll be diving more heavily into the interior in just a bit. The total MSRP for everything you see here, including destination, is $154,415. I've covered the Escalade's two core powertrain options in prior reviews, so check out the links down in the description box below if you'd like to learn more about those. The V-Series supercharged 6.2 liter V8 develops 682 horsepower, 6,000 RPM, and 653 pound-feet of torque at 4,400 RPM. This is a wicked cool engine that shares architectural similarities with the CT5V Blackwing engine. The Escalade application features a larger 2.65 liter TVS supercharger that helps overcome the higher inlet and exhaust restrictions on the full-size SUV application. It spins at up to 13,500 RPM to produce approximately 10 pounds of boost and has an electronically controlled bypass valve for optimal drivability. The supercharger's unique four-lobe rotors are designed to broaden the engine's power band with great low-end torque production and strong high RPM power. The rest of the engine is designed to support the high output and the greater cylinder pressures that come with forced induction including a durable forged steel crankshaft, forged steel connecting rods, and forged aluminum pistons. The aluminum cylinder heads are stronger as well and handle heat better than conventional castings. The heads also feature lightweight titanium intake valves. The general design of the engine incorporates an aluminum block in addition to the aluminum heads, along with pushrod operated overhead valves with two valves per cylinder and continuous variable valve timing. Fuel is delivered via direct injection with a compression ratio of 10 to 1. Max engine speed is 6,300 RPM. The V-Series is able to accelerate to 60 miles an hour in under 4.4 seconds and pass a quarter mile in 12.74 seconds at 110 miles per hour. That's blisteringly fast for something this big that weighs a touch over 6,200 pounds. One neat fuel saving technology is dynamic fuel management, which is an industry first that incorporates a number of cylinder deactivation modes that are designed to optimize engine efficiency across a broad range of driving conditions, such as towing. EPA estimated fuel economy numbers for the V-Series using premium fuel ranges between 11 miles per gallon in the city and 16 miles per gallon on the highway. In mixed driving, I saw around 13 miles per gallon. The total tank capacity is 24 gallons for the standard wheelbase Escalade and 28.3 gallons for the ESV. The standard transmission with any of the Escalade's engines is a 10-speed automatic transmission. With the V-Series, it features calibration for the unique power band characteristics of the supercharging system. The transmission sends transferred torque to an advanced, full-time active all-wheel drive system that splits torque between the front and rear wheels for optimal traction and driver control in all conditions. The system varies the torque split depending on conditions, but some torque is always directed to the front wheels. The transmission shifts as quick as a dual-clutch unit and always keeps the engine within its sweet spot for excellent response and overall performance. 
The transmission is electronically controlled and features a console shifter versus a traditional column shifter. Naturally, for a performance vehicle this day and age, paddle shifters are included as well. They allow you to change gears manually or operate the electronic range select feature. Being made of metal, the paddles are a nice touch. Like I mentioned, an electronic limited slip differential is standard on the V-Series. The final drive ratio is 3.23 to 1. The ELSD offers more precise traction and power engagement for the rear wheels. Its infinitely variable clutch engagement delivers torque to the wheel with the most traction, especially when cornering and plowing through wet weather conditions. The 10 speed with its closely spaced ratios makes the Escalade feel significantly more responsive and more refined in day-to-day -day use. The closeness of the gears also allow for smoother and quicker gear changes, which also help with trailering performance. There's a number of preset driving modes that mirror that of the standard Escalade, including Tour, Sport, Snow Ice, Tow Haul, and My Mode. On the V-Series, you can go even further to personalize your experience behind the wheel through the exclusive V-Mode, which you can access via a button on the center console ahead of the transmission shifter. It lets you tailor your preferred performance driving mode, and it also automatically lowers the ride height by nearly 0.8 inches. Adjustments available with V-Mode include suspension settings, steering, brake pedal feel, engine sound, all-wheel drive torque split, and engine performance. Additionally, a launch control function is available via V-Mode that lets the V-Series perform optimal acceleration runs from a stop. You can access this feature when in V-Mode by holding down the brake pedal and then applying the accelerator pedal fully. And when the traction control lamp begins to flash, you just release the brake pedal and go. Now let's go ahead and hear how she sounds.
Every Escalade is fitted with 22 inch wheels as standard equipment, with each model differing in the specific style of wheel. The V series comes with unique dark gray 18 spoke wheels with subtle V logos etched in for an added special touch. They're wrapped in Bridgestone 27550 all season tires. As far as the brakes, all Escalades have four wheel internally ventilated disc brakes. The V-Series exclusive Brembo brake package includes front discs that are not only significantly larger at 16.1 inches in diameter, but they're clamped down by massive six-piston calipers. The rear discs span 13.6 inches and are clamped down by single-piston calipers. Of course, the rear calipers are painted to match the front. With this setup, the V-Series is able to stop from 60 miles an hour in just 107 feet, which is quite an improvement over the Escalade standard setup. I've talked about how the new Escalade is a massive improvement over its predecessor, but it's especially true when it comes to the suspension. The V-Series is the ultimate example of this, and it's surprisingly fun to drive considering its size. It's more than just a full throttle hold on tight kind of fun too. On a standard Escalade, the front suspension is an independent setup with coilover shocks and a stabilizer bar. The rear is an independent multi-link design that significantly improves driving dynamics by allowing each rear wheel to handle road conditions separately to benefit ride quality, steering responsiveness and overall control when compared to the previous live axle design. The multi-link design consists of three lateral arms, a large longitudinal arm, coil springs, and a robust stabilizer bar. Taking things one step further, Cadillac offers an adaptive air ride suspension which has automatic load leveling capability and ride height adjustment. It's standard equipment on the Platinum models and the V-Series. The air springs replace the standard coil springs. On the V-Series, the system features specific stiffer rear air springs. The electronically controlled system also features unique damper hardware tuning and software calibrations, which help make the most of the V-Series four-wheel independent suspension. An electronic limited slip differential helps improve handling and helps to maximize traction. On the highway, the air suspension automatically lowers ride height by three quarters of an inch to improve aerodynamics and fuel economy. There's also a driver selectable setting that lowers the suspension by two inches to aid in passenger entry and exit when parked. If you decide to take the Escalade off-road, you can raise the suspension by one inch at low speeds in four-wheel drive high and an additional one inch at lower speeds in four-wheel drive low. The Escalade Sport, Platinum, and V-Series models also come standard with an otherwise optional magnetic ride control system. It's one of the fastest reacting damping systems in the industry, using sensors to continuously read the road and alter the damping rate of the shocks almost instantly. MRC reacts much faster than a traditional shock absorber to help reduce the bouncing, body roll, and vibrations that traditionally plague full-size SUVs. Between the full-time active all-wheel drive system, magnetic ride control, air suspension, and other V-Series exclusive chassis bits, Cadillac has created an Escalade that's actually rewarding to drive. It's the best riding, best handling Escalade I've ever driven. The steering is an electric, power-assisted rack and pinion setup. It feels a bit quicker and more communicative than the previous generation, even more so for the V-Series. The turning diameter is about 39 feet. With the four-wheel drive system available on other Escalades, you get a two-speed transfer case with a 2.72 to 1 low range ratio, hill descent control, and a four auto mode, which allows the drivetrain to seamlessly switch between two and four-wheel drive based on road conditions. Of course, trailering ability is also an important aspect of the full-size SUV segment. The Escalade incorporates a number of trailering technologies that make life easier, especially when towing by yourself. This example features GM's AutoTrack two-speed transfer case, a high-capacity radiator, and a new trailering app. 
The app allows you to input custom trailer profiles, test trailer lights, diagnose electrical issues, monitor tire pressures, run through trailering checklists, and more. Up to nine camera views are available, including rear camera guidelines, high definition surround vision, and independent front, side, and rear view cameras. Cadillac has also started affixing trailering labels on the inside driver's door jam. It lists all of the necessary information to calculate the exact capabilities of the new Escalade. The V-Series in particular can tow up to 7,000 pounds and haul up to 1,330 pounds, which is actually a little less in both regards when compared to the capabilities of a standard Escalade. Before we dive inside, I want to highlight the Escalade's doors for a moment. The handles themselves aren't actually handles, just made to look like some. When you grab them, there's a button on the back side that you press which electronically unlatches the door. The handles are LED lit at night and have little Cadillac logos which serve as the keyless lock buttons. A soft closing feature is included too, so you can simply push the door to where it catches the first lock and then it'll be drawn into the body automatically. If that's not enough, the windows have a soft operating feature, so when you roll them down and up they slow down momentarily at the bottom and the top to eliminate any kind of thud. It's a really nice little luxury touch. When you open up the doors, running boards automatically pop out from underneath the rocker panels. The interior of the new Escalade offers more space, better build quality, and a plethora of class leading technology. As I mentioned earlier, the interior of the V-Series is based on the Escalade's Platinum trim. With semi aniline leather on all three rows of seats, extended leather upholstery on the dash, center console and door panels, massaging front seats, a suede headliner, and all of the premium features you could want included as standard equipment. Color choices are limited to two, jet black or dark auburn with jet black accents, both of which feature beautiful Madrian quilting. The only things that are unique to the V-Series include the zebra wood accents, subtle V-Series logos, and a different look for the digital instrument cluster. At night, the interior is accented by an expansive LED lighting system with lots of colors to choose from. With the luxury, premium luxury, and sport models, the front seats offer 12-way power adjustments. With the Platinum package, the front seats offer 16-way power adjustments, including 4-way power lumbar, adjustable side bolsters, and adjustable upper backrests. Platinums also have 5 unique massage programs that each have 3 levels of intensity, depending on how much you want your back worked. Regardless of the amount of features, the new Escalade seats are incredibly comfortable. They're heated and cooled. The steering wheel is also heated and features power adjusting for tilt and reach. The seat belts and headrests are manually adjustable. The driver also gets a couple of memory presets for various features. The Escalade's industry first curved OLED display offers more than 38 inches of total diagonal display area, with twice the pixel density of a 4K television. The technology delivers bold imagery, perfect blacks, and the largest color range of any automotive display in production today. The system includes three screens, a 7.2 inch driver information system to the driver's left, a 14.2 inch instrument cluster behind the steering wheel, and a 16.9 inch infotainment system to the driver's right. The OLED is paper thin and its curvature positions the displays for optimal visibility. The vivid color and visual quality of OLED technology also eliminates the need for the common hood shrouding that is part of many typical in-vehicle screens, creating a brighter and less cluttered environment. The central screen also has a few display options, from traditional gauges to augmented reality and an available night vision camera. The augmented reality display is especially cool as it shows a live street view in front of the vehicle with turn indicators and other directional information overlaid on the screen. It includes features such as direction-based audio prompts, 
For example, a turn left audio prompt comes through the left speakers to further emphasize the navigation instruction, with the volume increasing as the turn approaches. The Escalade also makes a significant switch in audio systems from Bose to AKG. They're more traditionally known for their microphones and headphones, used by leading musicians in recording studios and live venues worldwide. This is the first time they've brought their audio technology to the auto industry and it's exclusive to Cadillac. The result of this new partnership is the Escalade's available AKG Studio Reference System, which features 36 speakers powered by three amplifiers that deliver 28 channels. Of course, this is standard on the V-Series. The 36-speaker system creates a listening experience that's astonishingly crisp and immersive. The standard AKG Studio system on other Escalades includes 19 speakers and a large enclosed subwoofer powered by a 14-channel amplifier. The AKG technology enables additional advanced features in the Escalade, including studio 3D surround sound, conversation enhancement, audio rendering for navigation, and front passenger volume control. Conversation enhancement in particular enhances vehicle communication for the front and rear passengers, as their voices are captured by embedded microphones in the headliner and reproduces in the designated zone using the 36 speaker system. You'll never have a hard time hearing someone. Infotainment features include every media option you could ask for, such as wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, Bluetooth streaming, satellite radio, HD radio, and much more. A built-in Wi-Fi hotspot is also included. Other features include navigation, hands-free telephone and voice commands, and an expansive app suite so you can keep track on everything that's important to you during the daily routine. A tri-zone climate control system is standard, which offers independent temperature control for the driver, front passenger, and the rear passengers. It's operated by a sleek switch bank beneath the infotainment system. Both the front and rear climate displays are digital. For easy front seat operation, you can access the rear climate controls from the infotainment system. As far as front storage, the center console has pockets either side and two closed compartments. One of the coolest optional features, literally, is the optional console cooler, which offers a nice amount of space for keeping drinks cool. Ahead of the cooler, you have Type-A and Type-C USB inputs, an SD card slot, and a button to activate the rear 110-volt AC outlet. The long compartment to the right of the shifter houses two cup holders, a small tray, and additional USB inputs. A wireless phone charger is located behind the shifter. The glove box offers a generous amount of space and is lockable for added security. The door panels have generous lower pockets as well. When it comes to safety, the new Escalade offers a wealth of active and passive safety systems. Inside, occupants are protected by seven airbags, including dual frontal airbags, front seat mounted side airbags, a driver inboard seat mounted side airbag, and head curtain airbags for the front and rear outboard seating positions. The driver's seat inboard side airbag in particular deploys in between the driver and front passenger to minimize possible contact in an accident. Depending on the model, there's different levels of standard and optional driver assistance technologies. On the Platinum models and the V-Series, everything comes as standard equipment. There are more features that I'm able to list for the sake of this video, but some of the standout features include advanced adaptive cruise control, enhanced automatic emergency braking, front and rear park assist, front and rear pedestrian detection, lane keep assist, forward collision alert, and a safety alert seat. A couple more features I'd like to highlight include the heads up display and the rear view camera mirror, which are both standard on most models. Lastly, this example is equipped with the night vision camera. It allows you to see beyond the headlamps thanks to thermal heat imaging that highlights and alerts you to detected pedestrians or large animals directly ahead. Lots of safety tech to say the least. Again, that just scratches the surface. 
A big benefit of the current Escalade when compared to its predecessor is rear seat space. Thanks to more efficient interior packaging, the lengthened wheelbase and of course the new rear suspension, legroom for second row passengers increases by nearly 3 inches, while legroom for third row passengers increases by just over 10 inches. The longer wheelbase also allowed for larger rear doors, helping improve ingress and egress. For the first time, the Escalade's second row seats can slide. You have about 5.5 inches of fore and aft adjustment. Individual captain seats are standard. You also have the option of a 60-40 split bench seat and no extra charge. The captain seats have their own armrests and adjustable headrests. You can even recline them for added relaxation. Being 5 foot 10 inches, I was more than comfortable in the second row with plenty of head and leg room to spare. Taller folks will have no issue here. Heated second row seats are standard. It's also worth noting that the seats now fold down easier. Regardless of whether you have the captain's seats or the bench seat, the standard power fold and tumble feature makes the process effortless. Storage options for the second row include two tier door pockets, seat back pockets, and cup holders at the rear of the center console, which also houses two USB type C ports, the climate controls, and a 110 volt AC power outlet. To ensure everyone's comfortable temperature-wise, there's adjustable air vents mounted in the roof of the second and third row. An all-new rear seat media system is available too. It's claimed to be the most advanced and capable system of its kind in the full-size SUV segment. Each 12.6 inch screen offers independent connections and HDMI inputs so passengers can watch different content on each side. On top of that, rear passengers can share content from one screen to the other, mirror content from a smartphone, and send navigation points of interest, like restaurant suggestions or pit stop locations, to the central infotainment screen up front. It's a sweet setup. The third row was honestly one of the biggest drawbacks of the previous generation Escalade. With all of the additional legroom and improved seat positioning of the seat itself, I can sit in the third row with no issue and still be relatively comfortable. This is a huge improvement to say the least. It's definitely easier to access the third row too. Obviously there's not as much room as the second row, but it's a much better space that can actually accommodate two adults. With the second row slid all the way back, my knees touch the seat back, so depending on the height of whoever is sitting in the third row, you'll have to slide the second row forward a bit. Since there's so much room in the second row, I don't ever foresee that being an issue. Third row amenities include cup holders on either side, as well as USB Type-C charge ports. If needed, the headrests for the second and third row can be folded for better visibility. The Escalade comes standard with a hands-free power liftgate. In other words, along with it being fully powered, it can also sense when you're standing behind it and open automatically. This is especially handy if you're carrying a bunch of stuff. If you need to haul some longer items that still won't fit with the seats folded flat, you can also open up the rear glass. Along with improving interior space, the Escalade's new platform also expanded cargo room out back. The first thing I noticed was the flat load floor. The previous generation also had a flat load floor, but it was raised relative to the entry threshold in order to match the height of the third row seat when it was folded down. At the time, it was the compromise needed to ensure the load floor remained flat across the folded third and second row seats. Thanks to more efficient packaging, the new Escalade is able to have a lower load floor that still remains flat across the entry threshold in all folded seats, which is awesome. As expected, this did a lot to improve cargo space. On top of that, there's still a covered compartment underneath the load floor for securing smaller items. Behind the third row seat, you have 25.5 cubic feet worth of space, an improvement of nearly 10 cubic feet of space. With all of the seats folded flat, the total cargo volume is 109.1 cubic feet. 
In comparison, the Escalade ESV has up to 120.9 cubic feet of total cargo volume, followed by 76.7 cubic feet behind the second row and 39.3 cubic feet behind the third row. Well everyone, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you all enjoyed the in-depth look at the 2023 Cadillac Escalade V. Be sure to stay tuned next time and leave a like down below because it really helps the videos a lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider doing so because of course, there's always a lot more where that came from. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.